today I was driving and I was parked actually like really close to the train tracks and I got a little nervous because it sounded something like <coughs> you know today's session of the outfit of the day consists of a romper that I picked up at Forever 21 very comfortable I love rompers especially with pockets it has shorts that's what a romper is shorts and a top into one today I'm wearing my 36 inch Lisa Tabas chain with my Sydney Evan disc necklace I like to mix metals like silver and gold those are Robert Lee Morris bangles those are David Smallcomb all for sale on thecurrentcustom.com my thinking behind mixing gold and silver especially if you wear gold um, jewelry with diamonds diamonds are white so white mixes with white and silver and so you know you get all the metals mixed into one I have no idea what I'm saying though in the video here's where I'm heading to my laser um, appointment and I'm got my new Olympus stylus camera which I had high hopes this is the segment where I decided to start using my new Olympus stylus uh, tough camera that is shockproof and water resistant that is also um, soundless apparently uh, maybe I'll adjust the volume and look at the box and figure out uh, why there is no audio with my video um, cool camera I'm very lucky though um, because not only did I buy this camera I really only bought it because I wanted to use it like on all the adventures that I go on like hiking and you know rock climbing and skydiving and um, probably next I will use it you know swimming swimming is pretty practical um, however I knew that this wasn't going to be the camera of my dreams I bought it because I wanted a camera for you know all those activities uh, but I did repurchase the Samsung dual view camera I really do love it even though um, it decided not to work anymore and I think the reason that it stopped working was because I saw this little piece um, the last time I dropped it came out of the camera and I didn't know what it was and then today I noticed that that piece was no longer there so that must have been the microphone so I was smart enough this time to purchase that warranty at Best Buy for $44.95 which I think a lot of times those are a waste of money but two years and if I drop this camera this time no problem I still might buy the Panasonic um, Lumix camera anyone have any thoughts on that please tell me now buying groceries checking camera quality those are the good I just got home and I had stopped at Petco to get Clyde Pie some new food so I could test him out and see which one he liked and which one he will eat. Um, my dog presently was eating Yukonuba mixed with his wet food. Uh, he doesn't eat it on its own so I was hoping that possibly he would like one of these dry foods on their own. Um, the, either the holistic one which I would love to go to a holistic store but they close early um, there is a holistic pet food store in Sarasota that I probably will go to tomorrow um, that brand I've heard a lot of good things about the Royal Canin or Canine or whatever it's called um, but they don't make a wet food um, I did buy this wet food by Nutro the ultra holistic one and I think that this one might be good. I mi mixed this tonight with his Yukonuba and he really did enjoy it. He keeps going in this bag though because I had bought him these treats at Petco also that are these cookies and I don't know if they're just tricking me and they're really human cookies because they smell a lot like just a regular human cookie. I only give him a quarter of those because he is a small dog so he can't have a whole one even though he could eat a whole one because he is a little pig when it comes to things he likes. I'm going to show you now what he actually um, eats because people like to criticize. So there says you can do with dry food. Yes, I do feed him dry food. That is the science diet. That's the reason I bought the science diet is because I got that for free from my vet. I haven't even used that. Um, I didn't think I was going to use it, but I was actually very impressed with the science diet um, wet food in comparison to the Yukonuba wet food because the science diet wet food actually had like rice in it that I could see the Yukonuba one um, had a really rank smell after I left it in a 
airtight container for a couple days, so I stopped feeding him that. Plus, it made his poo look yucky. Um, that, no. Those treats, the Omega treats, um, the salmon ones, Clyde doesn't really like those. Um, he loves those whole life chicken ones, and they come in all kinds of other flavors, which I will get him. He extremely, extremely loves those thingies, which I'll probably get criticized for giving him those, but they are his favorite, and they are good for his teething. These treats are probably really bad for him, and probably... This is where I realized I was really impressed with what looked like was in the holistic uh, wet food because it actually looks like food. Like it doesn't look like a bunch of nasty stuff and it kind of smells like a stew. Um, I'd eventually, I think I might want to get him eating just some food like that. Uh, but I've got to mix the, the new one with his Yukonuba because I can't just trade it off. The new wet food is a success. I mixed it with the Yukonuba because I don't want to completely mess up his um, digestion. I want him to slowly wean off the Yukonuba. Uh, but for now, he's eating it. He doesn't even really eat the dry food, so I have to try to mix it in there like he's going to eat it, but he doesn't. I ended up changing before I went to my laser appointment because they said to dress comfortable and I was that little romper was kind of skimpy so I'm wearing a white gap v-neck with a little gray tank underneath um, some Victoria's Secret pants with a little dog like Clyde pie and um, they're really comfortable I like to wear Victoria's Secret pants all of the time uh, my hair looks like a wreck and it needs to be cut um, look at that fingernail, you know, check it, check it. The glitter nail, uh, the way I do the glitter nail is that um, I put two layers of fresh, like of a regular polish on, and then two layers of glitter, and then a top coat. That way it peels right off, so you don't have to worry, because glitter is really hard to get off. I took off all of my jewelry for my appointment, um, except my love ring. I meant to actually take that off, but it feels so lightweight that I don't even notice it on. Still need to get it resized. Um, I, right here I believe I'm talking about my laser appointment um, she put two I guess that two symbol because she put two coats of a numbing cream on my face I had to take two Xanax beforehand which I don't even understand the point of Xanax because I don't think it affected me in any way um, I guess it's supposed to what calm you down or something uh, I am not that spastic so I don't know what it did for me um, but the laser actually was really kind of painful on my face. Um, I'm actually really not, it doesn't really look that bad, and it wasn't really that painful, um, but it looks just like a sunburn, and it hurt really bad kind of around the nose and around the lips and on the forehead, but other than that, not too bad. This is my little portion where I'm going to show you what I bought at the grocery store. I purchased some, you know, organic mixed baby green salad. Um, I purchased some hummus with garlic some celery sticks, some uh, bananas, some carrot sticks, and some mozzarella because I just wanted some even though Dari and I do not mix. Um, probably not a good idea but I love mozzarella. Uh, I also put my stuff from Best Buy in my bag. Shutter Island, amazing movie. I saw it. I loved it. Um, you might not like the same movies I do. There's a Samsung dual view camera that I purchased again because it is an amazing camera. Um, silver. I was checking because I was afraid it was red and I don't like red. Uh, warranty. That's the teapot that I used in the beginning of the video right there that makes the sound um, of the train. It's actually supposed to sound like a train. Pretty cool, huh? There's the camera that's broken. There's my loaf of bread. And coming up is my magazine uh, with Katie, or what's her name, uh, Kristen Stewart. I really like Kristen Stewart. I especially liked her after watching the VMAs, and she looked just kind of like a normal girl, um, that seemed embarrassed and, like, a little irritated that, like, they kept mentioning Twilight. Uh, I don't know. I liked it. It made her seem more real. I did not, however, like, you know, Katy Perry with her blue, uh, Betty Page type hair, uh, I just didn't enjoy her. Um, she was the only person I thought looked horrible.
and she should never wear that blue hair again. And I hated her song too. Just saying.